Good morning, my brothers and my sisters. Good morning. Welcome to another word of encouragement, your health tip and a prayer with Dr. Deborah Williams, AKA Dr. Dex. You know, recently I was at home and I was just pondering on the, the bad news that just keeps coming in. You know, bad news, things happening with, with people I know, lots of persons and they're calling, asking for prayer. You know, bad news, bad news, bad news, people being impacted. And I remember just lying on the bed and I said to Jesus, Lord Jesus, give me a word of encouragement. Give me your health tips and pray for me, Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So even as I do the word of encouragement, health tips and a prayer, I share with you, my brothers and my sisters, I rely on Jesus to give me a word of encouragement. Give me my health tips. Teach me how to be in good health and prosper, even as my shoes are prosper. And of course, as our priest to keep me under his priestly covering. Yes, Jesus is our high priest in the most holy place in the heavenly sanctuary. Interceding on our behalf, we have this joy of having our, is my general, you know, I was reading a book, you know, called um, Steps to Christ. And in a particular area in the Steps of Christ, I'm trying to see if I have it on, this, on my desk. I don't have it right here. It referred to Jesus as our general. Now, those of you guys who know me personally, you know that I, I, I love power. I'm a woman of authority and power, right? So that's why I love the Bible. So the Bible talks about power. I love God because God has power, right? When I see how the devil is trying to slaughter people down here, I have to be assured that I report to somebody who have more power than Satan. <laughs> yeah, man. Remember in Luke chapter 10, Jesus says, I saw Satan falling from heaven like lightning. But he said, I give you power over the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So I like to walk under the authority of one who has great power. It's Jesus Christ and he's our general. Praise the Lord. No, in babbling hand, let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your love. We thank you for Jesus Christ, your darling, wonderful, powerful son who's our big brother, our advocate, our high priest, our surety, our lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth. The lion of Judah is the lamb that was slain. God so loved the world. You gave your son to die for us, Father. We thank you. We thank you for your angels who minister unto us, Lord. As we go through our session, Lord, feed us from heaven. Feed us through your word. Is our prayer with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, amen. No. This morning, courtesy of Andrine Green, one of my staff, we're going to look at water. We're going to look at water from a biblical perspective. I'm going to look at water from the actual um, fluid that we drink and the purpose of water for maintaining optimum health, right? No water. No, I have two beautiful young ladies working with me. We call them medical missionary administrators. One of them is Andrew Green, the other one is Almaya Peterkin. And so they assist me in preparing PowerPoints, working with our clients, right? Getting the work done, we're a team. And then outside of them now, I have um, Louis Spence, who's the manager in my office, and I have a great team of supporters. You know, I have Andrew Cocking, and marie Cocking, I have Lou Brown, I have the Rileys, I have, Kishka K. Anderson, I have Sister Mendes, I have prayer partners. Without all these people, I could not function the way I do as a, as a medical missionary for Jesus. We work as a team to help God's children. Now, we are at Life Health and Foods Wellness Center, right? We are temporarily located at shop number 74, Springdale Avenue, Kingston 10. For those of us, those of you who want to make contact with us. Now, our numbers are on the screen, 876-878-8867, 876-326-4650, or 876-306-4280. Now, these are all WhatsApp numbers. So if you want to contact us and you're in Africa, or China, or Japan, or Australia, or America, or right here in Jamaica, right? Those are the numbers. 
You can email us at admin at mylifehelpfood.com. And because I know there are people around the world who will never be able to pay for a consultation. We have set up a ministry called Life, Health and Foods Ministries. And when you go to the website, www.lhfministries.org, we have populated that website with free health articles, recipes, videos, and you can just go there and you can get the information, right? You can go to Facebook, Williams, Deborah, and I post scriptures and health tips there on a daily basis. And on YouTube, you just type Dr. Deborah Williams, and you'll see videos upon videos where I have been posting so that God's children, wherever they are around the world, whatever income bracket you may be in, you're not excluded because we have all the videos with all the information covering a wide range of diseases, what they are, what are the symptoms, what are the causes, what are the natural remedies you can use to get rid of them. But if you are able and financially capable of paying for a consultation, you can simply book an online consultation using Zoom, or you can come in office. We have Zoom consultation. We can use WhatsApp. We can use Skype, right? And just like you're seeing me on the screen, that's how I do the consultation. They're called distant health consultation anywhere in the earth. Whatever your disease is, God says, I am the Lord that he let thee. Exodus 15 and verse 26. What I teach you is about anatomy and physiology. I teach you about nutrition, the herbs, water therapy. And I teach you how to take care of your body while you and I are relying on God to bring healing to your body. Our mission, changing lives, preserving and restoring health because Jesus Christ is the great physician. Now, John 7 and verse 37, Jesus says, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Now, Jesus is the only complete solution to our thirst. We are estranged on the earth because of sin. There's a disconnect between human beings and God. Now, Jesus is the solution. He says, come, you thirst, you need me. Come and drink of me. I will give you life. So we thank God for his son, Christ Jesus. In John 4, 14, when he was talking to the woman at the well, he says, but whosoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water, welling up to eternal life. My brothers and my sisters, eternal life. We are not just here existing for some look of 30 years or 40 years or uh, you know, 70 years or 80 years or pre-adventure, you might get 90 years. Jesus says, drink of me. Feast on me, focus on me. I will give you eternal life, everlasting life. And that really is the essence of Christianity. This is the great hope that our Lord Jesus Christ died for us. He has paid the price for our sins. We are redeemed by his blood. And he says, indeed, the water he gives us will spring in us, the Holy Spirit, welling up to eternal life. In Revelation 21, verse 6. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Come on, guys. Don't you want this to be your promise? You can claim it today. Christ says, anyone, right? It is done. It is already done. You know, Jesus has done it. He has paid the price. He has won the right to give us all of these wonderful promises. If we will trust and obey, he's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, right? He says, I will give unto him that is a thirst. Are you thirsty for God? Are you thirsty for the real and true and living? I thirsty for him every day, right? Because I, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have lived, I'm now 52 years old this year. And I know of a fact that this world has nothing to offer us. I have about four degrees behind my name right, from first degree, master's, doctorate, with a whole of a certificate in between. I have, I, I have sat in board rooms with some of the so-called elites of my country, the business elites, right? I have, I, have, I have traveled the world. I've been to Africa. I have been all over the place, Africa, America, Canada. I've traveled over and over and over. 
And none of it could quench my thirst. Right? None of it. Not money, not man, not nothing, <laughs> not food, nothing. But when I met Jesus, when Jesus came for me in 2007 and called my name and I responded and he gave me his Holy Spirit, a thirst, thirst. Jesus says he is a fountain of water and he will give it to us freely. Now, I was reading Revelation 22 for worship recently and I was just looking at the whole issue of water and how God tells us about water, right? Water is the core of our life, your body. We, our body is over 75% water. You know? From your neck down, we're water creatures. Your brain sits in water. We need water. God created water. Genesis chapter one, he created water. Now in Genesis, in Revelation 22 verse one, and he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life. Now we saw the tree of life in Genesis. Um, and now we come back to see the tree of life again in Revelation. So the tree of life is coming back, which bear 12 manners of fruits. So, you know, I always tease my, my study partners, you know, when I see that the tree of life is bearing 12 manners of fruit. And I say, you know something? Jackfruit, and they say, you know, mango, the funny, you know, banana, the funny, you know. <laughs> what is your favorite fruit? Well, I call it out my fruit because my fruit I love so much, mostly on this tree, right? It's bearing 12 manner of fruit and yield her fruit every month. Can you believe that the tree is bearing the fruit every month? No, I have to wait about six months before mango come in each year, and I have to wait <clears throat> nine months when Mr. the avocado that bud until I can get care off of the tree. But now we got tree of life. No, 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 no. Every month we're getting fruits and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it and his servants shall serve him. Praise the Lord. Don't you want to be there? This is in new Jerusalem. This is the new Jerusalem when the earth is made new and God is showing us what is going to be there. Verse four. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their forehead. And there shall be no night there, and no need of candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, praise the Lord. Everlasting life with God. And he said unto me, for verse 6, These things are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. So what you see the word shortly? In our eyes, it seemed like, boy, from me, from me, I day and me knee, me I hear this and my grandmother day and my mother day and me still day and me old no one. God no come yet. Well, God call it shortly. Because in the eyes of God, a thousand years is like a day, right? Verse seven and last. Behold, says Jesus, I come quickly blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book hallelujah praise the lord blessed is he who study the bible and understand revelation so we gotta study to show ourselves approved now in our book you know our favorite book the ministry of healing right uh chapter 17 we read in health and in sickness pure water is one of heaven's Choices, blessings. It, uh, its proper use promotes health. It is the beverage which God provided to quench the thirst of animals and man. Drunk freely, it helps supply the necessities of the system and assists nature to resist disease. The external application of water is one of the easiest and most satisfactory way of regulating the circulation of blood. When I have patients coming to me having circulation problem and edema and they're being placed on blood thinners and being placed on medication, there's no need. They need to drink more water. Water is the best source to thin the blood and help with circulation. A cold or a cool bath is an excellent tonic. I have patients who come in here with fever and they're roasting with fever and they're having all kinds of aches and pains. We give them hot and cold hydrotherapy and I've watched them come around and heal. By the power of God using water. Warm baths open the pores and thus aid in the elimination of impurities. Remember, you know, we have pores, little mouths all over your skin. 
when you take a warm bath, it opens up the pores on your skin and the impurities are eliminated. Both warm and neutral baths soothe the nerve. You can't sleep at night time. You have a bathtub, you fill that bathtub with nice, really nice, warm, very warm water. And you put some Epsom salt in that water and um, lavender oil. Lavender oil. And while you're in there, sip a cup of chamomile tea or hops, H-O-P-S, right? Or valerian, right? They are so asleep tea. You sleep like a baby, right? It's just simple things that God has given us to help his children. The next quote on the bottom says, but many have never learned by experience the beneficial effects of the proper use of water and they are afraid of it. Water treatments are not appreciated as they should be. And to apply them skillfully requires work that many are unwilling to perform. But none should feel excused for ignorance or indifference on this subject. There are many ways in which water can be applied to relieve pain and check disease. Yeah. Now, one of, I have a therapy you know, that I have worked with, with many of my patients, right? And I use it very frequently. Hot and cold hydrotherapy show. You just, you're, you're having aches and pains all over your body, right? You're having issues with can't sleep. You're having circulation problem, lymphatic system stagnation. You just go in the shower under the hot water for three minutes. Run down your body. Turn off the hot water. Turn on the cold water. We can blast your body for 30 seconds. Hot three minutes, 30 seconds. Hot three minutes, 30 seconds, cold water. Hot, cold, hot, cold. End the therapy with cold and see what happens to your body. It is amazing what that hot and cold therapy can do to circulation and help your body to remove the stagnation and help to relieve the pain and the issues of, 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 of disease in your body. All should become intelligent in its use in simple home treatments. Mothers especially should know how to care for their families in both health and sickness. I remember, I have a son, he's now 29. And I remember when he was a baby, maybe just a couple of months old and he had this very high fever and nothing with it would break the fever. And I remember my husband and I then rushed him to the hospital and when we got to the hospital, do you know what that doctor did? So this, he, he, may, he may have been about maybe three months old. The doctor got a basin full of ice water and dumped the baby in there. I was shocked. <laughs> I was shocked. He just dumped him in the ice water, then take him out and then friction him over, and then dump him back into the hot water. And after about three or four times, the doctor said, Mommy, dress the baby. And the fever was broken. And my baby was back to normal. Back to normal, right? He had picked up an infection. Now, water is an amazing, what we call, inorganic, transparent, tasteless, odorless, and nearly colorless um, fluid given to us by God. I have many patients who say to me, I don't like the taste of water. You don't have the taste, right? So we have to drink the water. It's important to stay hydrated because our internal cellular environment, our blood, our organs, our bone, tissue, everything needs this wonderful um, fluid that God has made for us, right? Now, to function properly, all the cells and organs of the body need water. It's vitally, vitally important. So we're going to run through quickly 14 benefits of drinking water. Number one, it lubricates your joints. So all over your body where you have joints, right? It helps to lubricate your joints. Cartilage found in joints and the disc of the spine contains about 80% water. Long-term dehydration can reduce the joint's shock-absorbing ability, leading to joint pain. So arthritis of whatever form, right? Drink more water. It forms saliva and mucus. And you know, saliva is important for helping to break in your food. Saliva, saliva helps us digest our food and keeps the mouth, right? The, the, the nose and the eyes moist. This prevents friction and damage. Drinking water also keeps the mouth clean. The bacteria washing it out, right? Consumed. Instead of sweetened beverages, it can also reduce tooth decay, right? Number three, it delivers oxygen throughout the body. 90% of water, of, sorry, 90% of blood plasma is water and blood carries oxygen to different parts of the body. 
So many of my patients, when they come with their blood works, right? We see where the red blood cells are out of range and the white blood cells are out of range and their platelets are out of range and the plasma is out of range. Dehydrated. They're drinking a whole of soda, coffee, coffee leeches, minerals from your body, you know. Coffee is a poison to your system. Number four, it boosts skin health and beauty. Now, when people meet Dr. Debs, they say, you cannot be 52. Yes, I am 52. But your skin, your skin, your skin. Yeah, I drink a lot of water. And I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. So I stay hydrated. It helps with the elasticity, right? So you look nice and firm and fresh. With dehydration, the skin can become more vulnerable to skin disorders and premature wrinkling. Number five. Water, it cushions your brain, your spinal cord, and other sensitive tissues. Now, dehydration can affect brain structure and function. You know, there are times where I might be busy, like a day or two, I might be busy, very, very busy with patients. And for some reason, I just forget to drink water. And when I get home, I have a mild headache, and I immediately I know where it came from. I didn't drink enough water throughout the day. And I just simply go in the kitchen, get a glass of water, and I drink it slowly and pray. And within about a few minutes, the headache goes away, right? Dehydration can cause migraine headaches. It also involves, uh, it's involved in the production of hormones that we call neurotransmitters in your brain, right? Where electrical means, you know, in your brain, you have the transmitters. And if you don't have water helping you to do what it does, you will have an issue with memory, right? Dementia setting in, you'll have to drink water. Prolonged dehydration can lead to problems with thinking and reasoning. Number six, it regulates your body temperature. Water that is stored in the middle layers of the skin comes to the skin surface as sweat when the body heats up. As it evaporates, it cools the body. In sporting activity, it is vitally important that if you're an athlete and you're out there, you got to drink your water. You're sending all your children to play uh, sporting activities, make sure they're sipping their water. When they finish the sporting activity, drink water. When I'm going for my walks in the morning, I drink water. When I come back from my 45 minutes of, you know, run, walk, hill climb and valley and enjoy nature with God, I drink more water. Some scientists have suggested that when there is too little water in the body, heat storage increases and the individual is less able to tolerate um, heat Brain. Having a lot of water in the body may reduce physical strain. If heat stress occurs during exercise, however, more research is being done on that topic. Number seven, the digestive system depends on it. In your stomach, we have something called hydrochloric acid. You can't have good digestion if you're not feeding the water to build the hydrochloric acid to help to break down the protein. The bowel needs water to work properly. Constipation, constipation, people. Dehydration can lead to digestive problems, constipation, and overly acidic a stomach. It can also lead to bad breath. Sometimes I come across people and I'm talking to them. I can smell the food coming out of them stomach right through the mouth. They're not drinking enough water to flush them system. This increases the risk of heartburn and stomach ulcers. So we don't play with this topic of water. Don't tell Dr. Debs, I don't like the taste of water. Drink the water, right? Drink the water. And if needs be, drop a little drop of lemon juice in there. So a little bit, if you need that to help you drink it. Number eight, it flushes body waste. Water is needed in the process of sweating and removal of toxins and feces from your body. Number nine, it helps maintain your blood pressure. A lack of water can cause blood to become thicker, increasing your blood pressure, right? Number 10, the airways, your airways need water. When dehydrated, airways are restricted by the body in an effort to minimize water loss. So if you're not drinking water, your body knows it's going to start hold on to the water. Your brain needs water. You know? It's going to start hold on to the water. And then now it can lead to breathing problems like asthma, allergies, even sinusitis. Now it Makes, it makes minerals and nutrients accessible. Water in your diet, number 11, makes minerals and the nutrients accessible to your body for, for breaking it down or for using it. These 
dissolve the minerals and dissolve in water, which makes it possible for them to reach different parts of your body. Number 12, it prevents kidney damage. I see so many persons coming into my office with kidney damage. Check it out, they're not drink, they are they're drinking the water. The kidneys regulate fluid in the body. Insufficient water can lead to kidney stones and other problems with the kidneys. Number 13, it boosts performance during exercise. Some scientists have proposed that consuming more water might enhance performance during strenuous activity. So it's very important that we exercise at least six days a week, 30 minutes minimum, do some weight training also, right? Go on the body, keep yourself in good health and prosper, even as your soul shall prosper. Number 14, aids with weight loss. Water may also help with weight loss. If it is consumed instead of sweet drinks and juices and sodas, right? We call it pre-loading with water before the meal. So you drink the water about one hour before the meal, right? Then you sit down and you slowly chew the food, pray, enjoy your meal. When you finish, you wait for about another hour or two before you resume drinking water again. It's a more efficient way for your body to handle digestion and deal with the water. Scientists suggest that water can help with weight loss in a variety of ways. It may suppress your appetite, right? So drinking that water an hour before will help you from overeating. It boosts your metabolism because every single organ, your thyroid gland, which is very involved with metabolism, needs the water, right? And make exercise easier and more efficient, all of which could contribute to results on your scale, the weight going down. So lack of water will impact the kidneys, right? And if you're not taking care of your kidneys, you're going to be in, in trouble. So I'm not going to go so much into the whole issue with kidneys today because I really just want to focus on water, water, water. Now, some of the water required by the body is obtained through food with a high water content. Like, for example, when you do your soup or your tomatoes or your oranges, your watermelon, right? Your, your cane. I love to eat cane, right? But most come from drinking water and other beverages. During everyday functioning, water is lost by the body. Just by breathing, you're losing, um, you're losing um, water, right? Um, and this needs to be replaced. We notice that we lose water through activities like urinating, sweating, defecating, etc. right? Um, even when you're bathing, if you go in the warm, the warm bath, you lose uh, water. So we wanna drink our spring water, purified rain water, or distilled water. It's the best source of fluid for the body. Beverages like alcohol, sugar, um, caffeine, or any sort, soft drinks, please bear, eliminate them from your diet completely. Eliminate them from your diet, right? Now, studies have been done into a study carried out by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention states. Out of a sample of 3,397 um, adults, the, re the researchers found 7% of adults reported no daily consumption of, of drinking water. 36% of adults reported drinking one to three cups of water daily. 35% of adults reported drinking four to seven cups of water daily. 22% of adults reported drinking eight cups. So you see the minority are the persons who are drinking at least the eight cups of water per day. People were more likely to drink less than four cups of water daily um, if they consumed a lot of fruits and vegetables. The study also measured the intake of drinking water. Fluid can be gained from other beverages, but water is best because what it's, it's, it's um, calorie-free, right? It's caffeine-free and it's alcohol-free. It is a choice beverage given to us by our creator, and it is the best thing to consume to keep our bodies in good health. Now, 7% of respondents reported drinking no water at all in the day. And those who drank a lower volume of water also consume less fruit and vegetables. This suggests that a certain number of people are risking their health by not getting enough fluid into their system. Even if the respondents reporting low levels of water intake were obtaining enough fluid, it is likely that they would be obtaining it from sources that could potentially compromise their health. So you know, what they're drinking is more soda and coffee and tea, right? They're not drinking enough water. So five ways to increase your water intake. Increasing your daily water intake is as easy as having a few lifestyle adjustments to ensure you're getting um, at least 64 ounces, eight cups of water, right? Some health authorities would even advise waiting to drink 
water until you're actually, but do not wait until you're thirsty to drink the water. Drink water throughout the day. It's very important. So you sip the water throughout the day, right? Get a water container that holds several servings of water and carry it with you. Look for bottles with the ounces written on it so you can track, you know, track your success and, and mark up and see how you're doing. Number three, instead of drinking coffee or soda or, or these things, drink water, right? Drink water throughout your workout. So when you're exercising, keep water near to you and take frequent sips. Don't underestimate the amount of fluid loss during perspiration. And number five, start and end your day with water. While sleeping, the body loses water. So drink a glass of water before bed and, and another in the morning. Sometimes if I get up at, you know, sometimes at two o'clock, I might get up for a bathroom break and I go and pee. When I come back, I'll sit, because I keep the water near to my bed. I'll sip, I take a cup or two, you know, sip or two, and I go back to bed, right? Now, please remember our book. Come on, guys, we have a book ministry and we need your support. The book was produced last year, November, Healthful Cooking, Recipes for Optimum Health by Dr. Deborah Williams. We can purchase the book by just going, for those of you who are in Africa and Australia and America and China and all over the world, please support us by going to amazon.com, right? Type in the name of the book and just purchase the copy to support the work that we're doing. For those of you who are in Jamaica, you can just call our office at the number is 326-4650 or 876-8867. Now, we are in Kingston, but wherever you are across the island, we can send a book to you via courier, or you can come to our office, which is at 4 Springville Avenue, Kingston 10, off Constant Spring Road, and just pick up a, buy a copy for yourself, buy a copy for your mother, buy a copy for your father. Men must learn to cook healthy vegetarian food. Get some copies out there to your boss and your workplace and your staff. Come on, employers. Give a real valuable gift to your staff. Buy them a copy of the book, okay? Just so call your office and they'll give you all the necessary information. Now, in the book, we teach you how to go on a whole food, plant-based diet, the healthy way, right? These are recipes coming out of the book, right? So we teach you how to do your season um, ackee and tofu, how to make your own nice cream. So when I eat ice cream, so when I eat dairy, how to make your little um, oats cookies and your banana cookies, right? How to do breakfast platters, how to do your nut and, and fruit cake with no egg, no baking soda, no baking flour, all natural. How to do your smoothies, how to bake your breads, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I thank you for being with Dr. Debs today, right? And as we go throughout this day, please remember, Jesus Christ is a source of everything that we need. Just give your life to him and invite him into your space. Drink of the water of life freely. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being our Abba Father. Thank you for your love, for restoration, Lord, for regeneration. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord, and keep us, all of your children on this earth, keep us on the narrow road that goes through the straight way that leads to everlasting life. Thank you for water. Thank you, Lord, for water and the purpose of water in our bodies to maintain optimum health. But Lord, Thank you for Jesus Christ. We thirst. We thirst. We want to drink of Jesus. He's the living water. Living water. Keeping us into eternity. It's our prayer with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, my friends. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Until we speak again. God bless you. God bless you. Love on enough, enough, enough from Dr. Debs.